It's be temper resistant. <clears throat> Even about, you know, gypsy eyes, everything, everything. There's really only two plugs that don't need to be tamper resistant, and that's the ones behind a big appliance. So like you can put a regular 20 amp receptacle behind the gar behind the oven and behind the well, I'm gonna, I did it here. I'm gonna see what happened because I had ordered some, so I just wanted to use them up. Some uh, 20 amp duplex. We're banging out the long. So this is the uh, cafe. And a future tenant, I don't know if it's gonna be a cafe or a future tenant, but it's really weird because there's nothing in the walls or nothing and they, there's nothing supplied over here to supply power to the future tenant because the panel's inside the electric room. It's not on the plans. We have a couple conduits coming over in the slab up here for, for lighting. It's only two circuits for the lighting, circuit one and circuit two, that's it. You get the whole, the, the exit sign is the same. Circuit one, so you got circuit one back here, circuit two up there, one and two. 20 amp circuits for lighting. That's it, it's all LED. This is T-bar, so that'll fly back here, but I have an issue with this plug the boss my guys put out here for this unit. I, I, I let them do it. Yeah, so they mounted the box on the side of the unit. There's no access to this. This is not gonna be an access hole. It's just gonna be a plenum, so. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to see how this plays out. We're probably gonna have to drop that switch into the hard lid. And the hard lid. There's no ex There's no entrance up there. We already have an issue with a couple boxes up here. I don't know. We're gonna have to have a access panel. I don't know what this guy had planned on that. Shit. These guys are working on this right now. Looks like they're finally getting this shit done, man. Three days. This shit was supposed to be done already. And these guys have been over here for th two journeymen in here for three days. Oh, they were Thursday and Friday. Thanks, my guys. Pretty sure they were. I don't know why they don't just cut the pipes off. And yeah, they, they waste the material. Pipes are there because all they have to do is cut them short and I got from twos and everything, but they'd rather waste the pipe, the connectors and everything to do it their way. Oh, it's, got, it just, it's just unbelievable, man. It's already set up for them with EMT coming out of the ceiling, wires all in them. All they have to do is cut the wire short, pull the pipe down, cut the wire, put the pipe back up from two. Instead, they would rather waste the connector, the EMT and everything, waste extra EMT. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I can't sit here and micromanage them. I have to let them work. And then when I see what they're doing, it's like, ha, ah, what a waste of material. So that's the problem. It's not really that they did it wrong or anything. It's just that the way somebody else had set it up to do it and they don't want to do it. So they're going to waste all the material just to prove a point and do it their way. I don't know. I can... Look at all this material wasted right here, man. Here's even another one. This is how much these journeymen waste. I'm gonna take some 
take some pictures. Not of this particular crap, but I, just, I gotta take pictures. Your brothers? No. So two of you. I thought there was only one. I didn't know there was two of you guys. I don't know who's who now, man. See? I'll say hi to you guys. I don't know which one's who. Take pictures of what these guys are doing. We still don't have all of our breakers, so our meter section's all in here. We are landing our wires, so some of these wires are so freaking big that you have to reduce them down because these are only good for uh, number two. Some of these, some of these wires were like number four aughts and shit. They had some 250s going here, and I. I I redid the plans, I recalc them so that we didn't have to put in 250s and the engineer went along with it and, and so, but as you can see some of these are large, they have to be pinned down, uh, sleeved and pinned, reducer pins, the re so we have to go from like uh, like a number four, a four at to a number two. You can't go four at to three at, it doesn't work like that, you go four at to two at. If you want to go down one, you have to, I, I don't know, maybe they do, but as far as I, I've, when my experience is I have to order them if I want to. I have a four, I, it doesn't really matter as long, if it's, as long as it fits in the lug, you know? So anyways, we're working on our branch circuits and stuff. Everything's installed finally. Well, not everything, we're still missing breakers. So, for some reason, we are abandoning, I, I know I, I have many questions myself, but the owner and they had a meeting and they came in here and they told me that we're gonna get rid of these, these three runs of 600s, six, six, 600s. Gonna come out. We're gonna come out, the box is gone. We're gonna abandon the pipe. We're gonna put KO seals on these chase nipples. Now I followed the plans and that was already in the concrete. We're gonna come out the top. We're gonna go up, over. It'll just be 190 on top of here. Four, four inches, I, I, Factory four inch 90 and whatever that height is, it'll 90 this way, come out to here, whatever that is, 90, boom. Now we're gonna replace, we're gonna replace these four runs of 600s, these three runs of 600s, 
These aren't torqued yet. We don't torque them until the, until the inspector gets here, but uh, they're gonna replace them with four, I guess, because they have an extra hole they wanna use. I don't know, they said it would balance the load. If this has already been balanced and the engineer did this, so I don't really understand. Man, I'm an electrician, you know, you're supposed to understand this stuff, but I'm not gonna lie. They told me just, they come in here, we had a big meeting, and that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna abandon those rungs. That, that, that breaker feeds this bunk of meter section, 2,000 amp breaker. We're gonna abandon everything going down the bottom. That was a full day. Three guys pulling these uh, runs of 600s in here. Gone. Gonna be four runs. I thought they said 750s, now they're saying 600s again, so. Anywho, we got finally got our, our lighting control panel, but we have not done anything with it. It's just sitting there. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, that's my pictures. I have all my paperwork done. You guys are grinding the rough spots of the concrete in here, man. What a bitch. Yeah, the first people that did a job did a shitty job. It's supposed to be smooth concrete. It's not really smooth anywhere, so. Oh. All of our materials, still, all this stuff is lights and stuff that still has to go in.